You have to stop procrastinating about learning video editing, okay? I know how overwhelming it can be because I've been there myself many years ago because there are so many complex editing software out there and we don't have time to learn. So I know how it is, but that's why I'm here because I'm going to show you the simplest way to edit your first video without being overwhelming in a very beginner-friendly editing software. You wouldn't even believe how many opportunities are going to open for you as a photographer if you know video. First of all, you are going to get more clients because clients nowadays, they need photos and they need video because I don't know if you noticed, in social media, video is winning all the time because it engages way more. So obviously clients prefer to hire someone who can do both things photography and video. And I know this very well because I was working in London as a full-time freelance photographer and creative director and I've got so many clients because they wanted photography, video, creative direction and I was able to do everything by myself and it was a no-brainer for them to hire me because I could do everything. So I was doing behind the scenes of fashion campaigns which was amazing because I was able to record, I was able to take photos and to do everything they needed. Then I was doing reels for many independent brands as well. So I was all in one basically. So you're going to get more clients but also you are going to get more money because obviously you are going to do photography and video so you can charge way more which means that if you are just starting you don't need a lot of clients in one month with a few clients you are sorted because you are getting paid more and another huge reason to learn video editing as a photographer is because of social media you have an amazing free tool to market yourself to get known not just in your area, but worldwide, to get clients, to expose your work, to be discoverable, to educate others maybe like I do, social media is free. And many people refuse to be out there, but you're gonna lose if you are not there because everyone is winning a lot. Everyone is in social media doing videos, doing reels, because that's discoverability for you and your brand. So learning video is not an option anymore is a must as a creative. So today I'm going to show you how to edit your first video from zero as a complete beginner in a very beginner-friendly software, which is called Filmora and it's for free. So you can start from today to put into practice what I'm going to show you. This is the editing software, and the best part is that it's available for Windows, it's available for Mac, also for your phone and for your iPad. So you can edit from anywhere, okay? So this is super good because it's very user-friendly as well. So I'm gonna show you how you can edit some clips. You just have to go here to create project, and the aspect ratio is 16 by nine, which is the most common one for you to but then you can do vertical to do those Instagram reels or TikToks and then you have here more options but we're gonna do 16 by 9 and you have to click here new project and here you're gonna see so many options but don't worry you will figure it out later it's very intuitive and very easy to use but the main thing you need to learn is how to import the files which is here you would press import you will look for your files so i'm gonna import all of this including the song i'm going to use so here you have already all the files you are going to use okay but first i'm gonna go to the project settings to make sure I have the right aspect ratio because I want to do it in 4K, but you can do whatever you want. I will go to File, Project Settings, and here by default is in full HD, but I want it in 4K. So I'm gonna go to this one. And the frame rate, I recorded it at 23.97 frames per second. So I have to put this here. You need to know how you recorded it in your camera and then match it with the timeline. So I'm gonna press OK. And now let's go for the first clip, which would be this one. And you don't have to drag the whole clip because many times you will be surprised when you are recording how long the clips can be. So you don't have to drag everything. So just here, this is the preview of the clip. So you go here, OK. OK, from there I start walking. That's my beginning. So I would go to this bracket here and I would click here, mark in. The shortcut is the key I, but you can learn the shortcuts later because it's gonna make your life way easier. But for now you can do it this way. And then you can mark the end, which is here when I disappeared. And now that's it. What you can do 
is just drag it to your timeline. One thing I'm going to do first is color correct this clip because I recorded it in a slot three, which is very washed out. But don't worry, you don't need to know about that yet. But I'm gonna go here to color and you have many LUTs, but I'm gonna select the LUT I need for this recording, which is this one. You see, now it looks way better, the clip. Okay, once I did that, I'm gonna go here to the marker and you can see that I'm taking my laptop and my camera. So I'm gonna cut into the action because I did record a close up of this clip, which is this one. Again, I'm gonna go to the action when I'm grabbing the laptop and the camera. There you go. This is the beginning and this is the end. And I'm gonna drag it, but I'm gonna put it on top of the action so it matches. I'm gonna zoom in, you can zoom in here. Okay, it's almost perfect, I think. Yeah, that's perfect. You see? I'm gonna make this shorter. You just need to put the mouse on top and you see this arrow here and you can just move it and shorten it. So this is for now what we have. Taking the laptop and that's it. So I'm gonna do the same about the color with this clip. The lat, there you go. And now I recorded another clip from the outside of the window. So because I know that here I'm looking at the window, I'm going to stop here and I'm going to go to the clip in the other side of the window, which is this one. And I can see there I'm passing, I'm marking my beginning and the end. And I'm gonna drag it. Here. I'm gonna apply the lat, there you go. So as you can see here, I'm passing through the window and now I have the other clip from the other angle passing by. So now I just have to go here and adjust the clips. And this is very easy as you can see. You don't need to do anything complex. That comes later when you learn, okay? So I'm gonna carry on with my next clip and you're gonna see at the end of the video how the sequence look like. So this one is another angle. I'm gonna go forward. There you go, when I appear there, passing by the window. So this is my beginning, and this is the end when I open the outside window. And I'm gonna drag it, apply the preset. This clip is very long, so you don't wanna do it that long because people get bored. So normally, at the rhythm of the music, I cut it, okay? So for example, I'm gonna cut it here. And you have here some scissors, so you just have to click here, and that's it. And then you can move a bit this clip here and you have the jump cut. And I'm gonna cut it here because I don't need all of that. I'm going to add the music at the end just because I want you to hear me properly, but normally always edit with the music, okay? Because you're going to be able to cut at the rhythm of the music and it looks way better. So I'm gonna go to my next clip, which is this one. I recorded from the outside. Everything I'm telling you, you can learn from as well how to record. It's to create sequences. This is very easy when you practice. So you can practice at home if you like. So I was recording from the outside here. You see, like I located the tripod, I'm going in. Here I'm opening the window. So this is my beginning. And this is the end when I go towards the sofa of the terrace. I drag it, I'm going to apply the lat. Everything is like stitched together, you see? And now the next one would be this one here, when I appear there towards the stairs. When I go in, there you go, this is the end. I drag it, apply the lat, and I already have the sequence. And now I'm starting to talk. So I want to show you some things about that as well. This is the A roll when I talk to the camera. So here is when I appear and I sit down and I start talking. I'm going to leave just the beginning. I'm not gonna leave the whole dialogue, but it's for you to see. So we have our little sequence. So pay attention to everything so you can learn to create sequences as well. I'm gonna put it in full screen. There you go. White shot, cut in the action, taking the laptop and the camera white shot again, another angle from the outside, white shot from the back with the jump cut, I open the window, this is another angle from the outside, quite wide, and now I cut to another angle which is a close-up of my legs going downstairs. So learn this as well because it really helps, and then sitting down on the sofa and I start to talk. Hi! <laughs> I'm back on my channel. So this is what we have in such a short time. 
This is very easy to do, as you saw, and it doesn't have to be overwhelming. And if you are doing photography vlogs, recording behind the scenes, this is all you need to know. But I'm gonna show you a few things more because Filmora, it's amazing. You can do so many things and they are very beginner friendly because they are powered by AI. So you can enhance their voice. I'm gonna do it now for you to see how it looks like. If you go to the clip here, because the others doesn't have any voice on them, you would go to audio. And if you go down, you can do everything yourself, okay? Manually, put the volume up, you can do everything. So it's very good, but the easy way, if you go here, AI voice enhancer. And I'm going to show you how it sounds. Maybe I missed an upload or two because I was sick or maybe I was working on... It really enhanced the voice, the dialogue. So this is super simple if you don't know about sound design or sound editing, because this is quite tricky sometimes. It took me a while with other editing software, but with these AI tools, it's very easy. So you can use this. What I'm going to do now, it's adding the music, which is super easy. You just have to go to the track and drag it to the bottom of the timeline. There you go. And it's gonna be quite loud. You can leave it there if you are sewing B-roll. B-roll are the scenes where you are not talking. When I start talking, what I do, it's lower the music because otherwise you cannot hear me and it's very annoying. So what I'm going to do is add keyframes. This is something you need to learn because you are going to use this a lot. To zoom in, zoom out, put the volume up, put it down. This is very important. So you go here before I start talking because you want the sound to go gradually lower and you go here to adjustment and you click here, keyframe in the volume. So you put a keyframe there, which is normal volume. I would go right before I start talking, so it's not too harsh, the difference. Add another keyframe and go lower. There you go. Hi. Much better. <laughs> I'm back on my channel. I'm so this is how you add keyframes. I'm going to show you now how to add text, which is super easy. And text for me adds a lot of value to the videos as well. So I'm gonna go to the beginning and I want a cinematic title. So Filmora has so many by default, okay? So you don't have to download anything. So you go here to titles, you have plenty of them. But if you go down, title effects, you have many, but I'm going to go to cinematic, obviously, <laughs> and you have many here. I'm gonna choose like a minimalist one. That's how I like them you have many to choose from. I kind of like this one. So you drag it to the timeline and you have your opener there. But if you click on it, you're going to be able to change the title, the fonts and everything you want. So I'm gonna click on it. I'm gonna go to the layers and I'm going to put Uluwatu. This is the location. I'm going to change the font to this one, for example. And then I'm gonna go to the other layer and I'm gonna put Bali, Indonesia. And I want to make it smaller. There you go. I'm gonna put it a bit more up. You see, you can change here as well, the position. You can customize everything. That's why it's beginner friendly, but then it can be as professional as you want it to be when you are learning the software. So this is very good. It's very complete. I'm gonna make it a bit smaller even. There you go. This is how it looks, the intro. That's it and you can make it longer or shorter. This is up to you. And now I'm going to show you something else which is very interesting, which is the templates, because you have transitions, effects, filters to add, stickers, so you can add subscribe stickers. So you have the sticker there. You have everything you need in this software, to be honest, to create videos, YouTube shorts, TikToks, YouTube videos, and client work. To do client work, you don't need to do a lot of fancy stuff, okay? As you can see, I did a sequence just cutting. So here you have the templates I wanted to show you. If you go to this arrow, you press templates, and you have templates here, like openers, cinematic, again. <laughs> you have YouTube openers as well, which is super nice. I'm gonna choose this one, actually. And this is how it looks. It's very professional, but you have to put your own clips. So I'm gonna do it quickly for you to see. If you click on it, it says seven items to be replaced. So if you click, you see the items to be replaced. So you click here and you will select the clip you want first. 
So I'm gonna go to the first one here, open, edit it, and here you would select which part, which would be this one, okay? Then I'm gonna do the same with the second one, third one, and I did all of them. So this is how it would look like. You have a professional intro. Obviously, you can change the text as well. You can change the clips. You can change the color gradient. But this is for you to see that nowadays, editing video, it's very easy. And you have so many other tools, which I'm not gonna go in depth into them because this is a beginner-friendly tutorial. But you can do multicam if you want to record podcasts, and you can do so many other things with AI. You can follow along if you go through the link below and you grab Filmora because it's for free. I I forgot to mention, when you work with Filmora and you export it, it's going to appear with a watermark. But if you want to remove the watermark, you can do it. And you do have a few options, very affordable in compared to other editing software out there, so you don't have to worry. It's a very beginner-friendly software to start with, and if you want me to do more videos about how to record yourself, please let me know because I always push you on my channel to record yourself as a photographer to attract clients. You have to be out there if you want to stand out as a photographer. So I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like it and subscribe to my channel because it does help me a lot. And I will see you in the next one. Big love from Bali.